Hey, what's good with ya? It's your girl, Lenny Lynn, right here, and I'm back with this new video. I wanted y'all to know that I am going to be doing a bun tutorial. Of course, you have read it in the title. And today, I'm starting on a very messed up wash and go. This wash and go is a little bit too shrunken for my liking, and it also has a lot of flaking going on. If you want to know what products I use, then guess what? It's going to be linked up here at the top so y'all can see that, so y'all can know what type of hair I'm starting off on. And first things first, you are going to need a stretched out stocking. This is what I love to use. And I actually started doing these buns when I saw my girl Candy Loves You. She doesn't really do so many hair videos nowadays, but when I first went natural, she was someone who really inspired me five years ago. So um, Candy Loves You really is the motive to this bun, and it's a Candy Loves You inspired bun, you can say. So I'm using an old stocking, and you can get these from your local Walgreens. They be in like these little gumdrop bottles, balls or something like that. So one of these. Of course, you're gonna need your some. You're gonna need a spray bottle, not a mister. You're gonna need a spray bottle. I like bottle. to use Edge Control. I'm using Over the Top Hair Collection Stronghold Edge Control, and you're gonna need a brush, and you're gonna need a few bobby pins, depending on your hair texture. If you have thick hair, I recommend y'all use the big ones, and if you have thinner hair, you could probably get away with using at least three to four of the small so ones. So first things first, what I like to do, just put this on me, is miss the perimeter of my hair with water. I then take my brush and I just brush it. Brush around the perimeter front and back. All right. Now we're going to take our edge control. I use edge controls because during the week if you use gels, gels tend to leave a lot of buildup with time, especially if you're using the Eco Styler gel or um, any other strong holding gel. So if you use a gel, I recommend using a light hold gel like a pink gel, the pink gel from Eco Styler. Or the pink gel from IC Fantasia. But for the meantime, edge control's really been coming through. Now, once you have your edge control on the edges, make sure it's all brushed in. And you're gonna take your stocking and just put that on the, around your head as usual, which you'll do with any type of ponytail holder. And we're gonna kind of tighten it up but we really want the foundation to be a little bit high not too high to give you a headache and we're going to take it and we're going to just tuck it under and let me turn around so y'all can see the back Okay, so again, like I told y'all, this was a fail wash and go. So, when you're working with fail wash and goes, you have to be really careful not to have oversaturated hair and not to over manipulate the bottom portion of your hair because this is what's going to make the bun. So, what I'm going to be doing is just trying to frame it into a ball. So, that is the motion we're going for a ball. And I'm going to keep trying to tease the top of it with my hands and pulling it. So I can get the perfect foundation and making sure that this is kind of hidden. And... I have a lot of hair tucked right back here. That's going to be the bottom of it. So, just trying to make sure it's not lopsided. 
because it could get so lopsided. Especially because it's a fail wash and go, so it is kind of tacky to, to work with and waxy. That's what my hair feels like. thank you so much for watching this video hopefully you did take something from it and I hope that you did enjoy watching me create this bun that was highly requested for me to do I want to thank you so much for watching I hope that you also have a really really good day and remember to keep God first in your life and in everything that you do and the results will always follow I'm signing on out of this thing and Hopefully you guys would love to rock this bun. You can decide to add oil to your hair and scalp, especially your ends before tucking them in. But since I do live in the South and it has been really, really hot, I choose to just rock the oil at night and let my hair really soak it up before actually preparing the bun for the next day. So that's another little tip if anyone was wondering. So I'm signing on out of here. Thank y'all so much for watching again. And bye bye until the next video. And if you have some free time, check out my blog site at shefoundstrength.com.